Good evening, I'm Colin Mayfield. Police say the 96-year-old Louisville woman who is short thousands of dollars after she was allowed a handyman into her home. WLKY's Elisa Gale sat down with her on this Christmas Eve to find out how she's coping. Annalisa? Colin, she says she is trusting in God during this difficult time. LNPD second division officers are lending a hand to get her in the Christmas spirit. Hello, Dan. Oh, I could call him so many names. It would be fun. At the end of retirement, one expects to be enjoying the fruits of their labor. But Sergeant Jason Grissom says that isn't the case for this 96 year old woman. She didn't want to show her face on camera due to safety concerns. During the spring, she says she hired a contractor to do work on her home. And instead of increasing her property value, the contractor, she says, stole from her bank account. And over the course of the time he was supposed to be doing the work, he basically scammed her out of, of in excess of $10,000. Money, he says, he got using stolen information from her checkbook. She was expecting to pay him around $300 for repairs to her home. That includes replacing tiles here in this bathroom in her basement. The repairs were incomplete and the money the widow saved up from working at a factory years ago is gone to someone else's pockets. She struggles to walk and has to wear a hearing aid. I just couldn't understand what was going on with me when insufficient funds when I never had it over 70 years. He bought an excessive amount of, of, of items, uh, construction equipment, uh, gift cards, um, and, and we're still looking into what else. And hun, I ain't got it right since they froze my account. She's pinching pennies now. It's hard, I tell you. I can't believe it. Sergeant Grissom was hoping to get her money back in time for Christmas Day, but he was unable to do so, so he did something else. We were able to get her a gift card and, and get her a little bit of money. The contractor will appear in court soon to face a judge. I don't ever see him no more. Now, the woman turns 97 in August. She says she's moving soon to an assisted living. She also believes the suspect stole her diamond ring. I'm Annalisa Gale, WLKY News. All right, Annalisa, thank you. The suspect was cited and charged with theft over $10,000. Police expect to file more charges.